wash in this terracotta pot ready to go. And this stand here with the three legs is one of my roadside treasures. And it seems like it's going to work perfect. There's a ring here, which is making room for this, which happened to fit just so. And I also have a glass funnel here I won on eBay. And I have it tied on just so it won't fall off accidentally and break. And I put that there only to give it a wider mouth to drip through. I really don't want it contacting this metal. So I collected my rainwater. And I also tested the pH. And the tap water here and the rainwater are about identical, actually. In fact, I think the rainwater was slightly bit acidic, more acidic, and the tap water and rainwater were nearly neutral, but they were just to the left on the acidic side, but they nearly did look identical. Okay, shame on me, this isn't plastic. That's the only cheating done here today, but that'll be resolved in the future. Whereas you could allow rainwater to go straight in here and start leaching out. Also, I have another glass ready for when I'm ready to swap it out. This tripod seems stable, but it is top heavy. Ideally, we would want something with a wider base, and also wider would help with um, being able to put a wider pot under there. But for now, this is great. This is great. But just to show you, the, the weight of this actually helps stabilize it. This actually takes a while to go through. I'm going to show you what it looks like on top. A lot of the water is actually floating. It's not just, the ash is not soaking it up quickly at all. So, here's what we have going here. There's a bucket of rainwater over there. Now, what I discovered when I put my buckets out last night, the one over under the eave of the house actually filled up very fast and was just spilling over the whole time. Whereas the other bucket that was left out here, more under the sky, um, it didn't fill up all the way at all. And I got really fortunate yesterday when I shoveled the ash into this right before it started to rain. Let me tell you, luck was definitely on my side yesterday. Everything flowed really well. I don't want to lift that other bucket. It'll be too heavy for me. If I really, really had to, I could, but I'd rather not. Okay, it's starting to come out, and it's not coming out very neat. In fact, it's very, there's a problem. The hole, when it's coming out the bottom of the hole, the water's on the bottom of the terracotta going outward and falling out. This is not what I expected. Okay, I'm going to try something. Hold on. Oh my, I can already feel a very heavy lie. Hold on, I'm also going to do this with my hand. Maybe if I wet the bottom, it'll start coming out more evenly. working. Okay, now what do I do? I don't know what to do. This is bad. Shit. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to put my finger 
here and there and move some stuff around. That's not helping. Shit! Honestly, I don't know what to do. I mean, I could try to plug it until I figure out something else. Shit. See, I wasn't planning on this. You, you think you have something set up just so, and you don't know until you actually try it. You can't assume anything is going to work. You just can't. By the way, this lye is not as intense as sodium hydroxide. Oh, it's going now. Yes. It's fine. But lye, when heated, is way more active. That's how I'm able to do this and not get burned. And at, uh, I was reading online, it's an excellent cleaner for floors or anything, jewelry. So, and I can feel how slick my hands are. It definitely, um, it's a surfactant that uh, reduces water tension. That's what allows the oil to mix with the water. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I'm happy with this. Excellent. And it doesn't look like I really need this, but let me just try it. my hands. I'll be back. My hand, I cannot tell you how slick it feels. It's like squeaky clean. Maybe you can hear it. Anyway, my ring looks clean. Okay, so this is coming along. That, that lie felt very, very, um, slick. Like, it, it should have a heavy alkalinity reading on the pH. In fact, I'll read it right now. Fourteen's kind of covered up, but it's a really dark brown, and this is like right in the middle. This might actually be ready to float an egg or melt a feather. That would be amazing. I wouldn't even have to cook it down to concentrate it. I'll get a feather.
Here it is. It came out of my um, feather pillow. If it doesn't melt this feather, it won't take long of cooking this down at all to where it will be concentrated enough. I can tell you that right now by the pH. Okay, it's not melting, but it feels funny and like some of it came off on my hand. So this is pretty strong. This is, this is really good. I'm going to swap this out before it gets too full because I have to turn it sideways and I don't want some to spill out. continues to leach, the color will become more and more clear. The first run has a lot of impurities, but after a run or two, you'll see it really become clear and more like a pale, pale golden yellow. See, this one's already like that. When I use this, I'm going to strain it as I pour it into the pot to get out some of the little debris here and try to keep my soap as pure as possible. But it doesn't hurt it if that gets in there. It's just, then it's like a body scrub. <laughs> okay, I really like what's going on here. I'm gonna go eat shortly after I deal with this and then I'm gonna put the lid on right now so it doesn't get rained in while I'm gone and start leaching out and overfill my container, if I even have a container there. I don't want it going all on the ground. Okay, this is great. Okay, thank you for watching <laughs> me leach my ash from a variety of woods. I know palmetto wood is in there, oak wood is in there, the Rekka palm fronds are in there, and then there's the mystery log, the biggest piece of all, and mystery bark skin off of the dead tree trunk I saw that fell back in perfect sheets. Okay.